Mexico City is the densely populated capital of Mexico. This vibrant and diverse city is the home to more than 21 million people. The population of Mexico City has grown by more than 20 million people in over 110 years. From 500,000 people in 1900 to 21.2 million people in 2012. Mexico City is the largest metropolitan area in the Western Hemisphere and the largest Spanish-speaking city in the world. It houses the largest concentration of Americans living outside of the United States. Mexico City is the richest city in Latin America, as well as the eighth richest city in the world. As a result, of the extreme air pollution of the city. In 1991, the air quality was announced as a public risk for 355 days out of the year. Since then, the government has taken a number of steps to reduce the air pollution. As a result of Mexico City being a densely populated metropolitan area, air pollution is a major problem that exists. These pollutants stem from human activities such as industry, vehicle emissions, construction and residential fuel burning. 2015 was the hottest year recorded in Mexico with an average temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. These higher temperatures increase pollution as pollutants release faster into the air. There was also an increase in droughts, intense rain, hurricanes, and frequent floods. In 1992, the UN declared Mexico City as the world's most polluted city to the extent of low visibility as well as widespread respiratory problems, such as asthma. Mexico City has over 4 million vehicles and the largest metro as well as the largest and busiest airport in Latin America. This increases the carbon emissions released into the air. As Mexico City is a concentrated city and continues to expand, the demand for energy increases, therefore increasing greenhouse gas emissions due to an increase in non-renewable energy consumption. According to the Notre Dame Global Adaptation Index, Mexico is the 45th least vulnerable country to adapt to the negative effects of climate change and the 86th most ready country to leverage investments and convert them into adaptation actions. This means that Mexico is well positioned to adapt and resist the effects of climate change, although adaptation challenges do exist. One of the steps taken by Mexico City in improving the air quality include investing $150 million into expanding and modernizing sustainable public transport systems. The aim of this investment is to create a more efficient and user-friendly transport system that also incorporates energy-efficient vehicles to replace microbuses that are 20 years old. These energy efficient buses aim to decrease air pollution as well as to decrease greenhouse gas emissions. There is also an increased emphasis placed on recreational transportation such as public bike sharing as well as supporting car free days for health and recreational reasons. Mexico has become the first developing nation to promise to cut its global warming pollution. Mexico promised to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 22% by 2030. Greenhouse gas emissions are expected to rise up until 2026 and then decline. It aims to do this by shifting to produce 35% of the nation's energy from renewable resources, such as wind, solar and other renewable forms by 2024. This currently lies at 3%. This is also intended to halve the production of black carbon, particles created by burning wood, diesel and other fuels. The net effect is intended to reduce the air pollution that is causing global warming by 25%. Emissions will also be cut 
by shifting state-owned power provider Comision Federal de Electricidad to cleaner burning natural gas instead of fuel oil. Other positive outcomes for the Mexican government include the distribution of 22.9 million free energy saving light bulbs as a part of the efficient lighting project of Mexico. The goals that have been set by Mexico in reducing air pollution as well as greenhouse gas emissions is ambitious as well as an important commitment in the fight against global warming. As the Environmental Minister of Mexico said, it's obvious that global warming is already a reality. It's without a doubt the principal challenge for humanity in the 21st century. Juan Jose Guerra